vision I had from the start was a learning health system. As I got into that, what I realized is that that only works if you have standards so that computers can understand the medical information and be able to make calculations and use the data. And that was what HL7 does. The real innovation in FHIR is it creates an API for how you can access data real time from a system. If you truly standardize, applications that are built by one group can be used by other groups and across the industry so that they can be used at any Cerner implementation or they can be used with all scripts or with Epic or with uh, GE or whoever. And so that's an incredible uh, advantage because it means that things can be created once instead of being created in everybody's single siloed system. The importance of this work to patient care is really improving the quality. Measuring in the way we assess wounds today have a 45% variability in them because we measure the wound with a ruler and then we ask the clinician to describe the delineation of black, red, and yellow tissue with their eye. The Tissue Analytics app is an algorithm that rides on your phone and piggybacks the camera. It basically eliminates all of the variation in the measurement and the description of the wounds. It's very consistent, so it doesn't matter who's taking the picture, it removes the human variability out of it as well. What we're trying to do is, is make these applications so that the applications are smart. The things that are going to be really, really important are the things that advance decision support to care providers. I mean, as a physician, I've been involved in enough to know that people are dying from medical errors. What it's allowed us to do is take an early stage innovation like tissue analytics and integrate it all the way back into PowerChart. So it allows that data to be seen wherever the clinician is. We went through a discipline of a proof of concept and then a pilot where Intermountain and Cerner were collaborating very closely with the clinics and with the wound care nurses. One of the first things I heard from the providers about tissue analytics is don't take it away from us. So it's impacted their workflow. One, it's removed the variability. And then two, it's literally because of Smart on Fire and the way that Cerner has architected that integration, it's automatic, so it also saves them time. So you improve accuracy, you save time, and make it easier for them to do the job that they are aiming to do, and that's help patient care. It makes a whole new opportunity available. You can give patients control of their data, and they can access and use any kind of tools that they want to understand their own data better. I see that happening even more as we talk about getting consumers engaged, but we also have to have their data back into the place that the caregiver wants it. And the Smart API allows us to selectively put that data in the right place. Instead of being treated sort of just statistically, they can truly have their own data and they can have a set of programs and algorithms and applications that weren't really possible before. From that base of standardized data, be able to create applications and have a truly open marketplace so that the kind of innovation that we're seeing in, in most other aspects of, of our lives can actually apply to medicine. So my vision for moving forward really is, is to put the standards in place that make it possible for people to share data and applications. How do we better understand care transformation and other programs that are going on to give us insights we need so we can design something that delights people?